Well, I'm not sure how to start this video off with, so I guess I could just start with this, I guess. I really appreciate the support that the Minecraft Hardcore Survival Series video has gotten. It's, it's, I really appreciate it. It makes for a good change of mood from all the mine, all the MHSS videos that I've been making so far. So thank you for that. See, also the watch time shows that uh, being more energetic gives you some good results. So in this video, we're gonna be mostly just building a, a wall around our house and setting up some farms, some animal farms specifically so that we could have a moving uh, food source. Yeah, I'm looking at here. Uh, wheat farm. You're taking a bit too long for us. So I guess that's what we're gonna be doing here for this video. I'm also trying to make my videos a bit shorter so that you guys could have a more digestible experience. I mean, that's what I want and at the end of the day for you guys to enjoy your time. Oh. oh, I don't want to deal with hunger, please. Good. Yeah. We killed, oh no, the Enderman. <laughs> that was a bit uh, scary that we saw an Enderman here. An Enderman, yes. I'm always worried that I might do an English mistake because I'm talking a bit too fast. So I guess we'll just cut until, we'll do a simple cut because, I mean, there isn't much that we can do at daylight, so. We'll see you there. Yeah, we have some monster problems around here. I guess I haven't the top enough of the area. Hmm. Isn't that right, Mr. Zombie? Haven't lit up enough of the area. Really another zombie. Yeah, just, just, yeah. Any more volunteers? No? Oh, here. There's a volunteer right here. Just coming by. Which door did I say? The right one or the left one? Seems you chose the left door. At least my left, personally. For you, it might be a right door. Good God. Um, we need to light it up a bit more, I guess. Because the, the amount of lighting of place is nowhere near enough for those monsters to keep bay. And there's the sun. The sun died. It's going to be coming by soon. I'm always hitting the campfire for some reason. So I guess we're... Let's see how many stones. Yeah. We don't have nearly enough to build... At least a small area in which we can safely move around. Except if they're gonna spawn in inside and work. We have some sort of issues there. Or like skeletons or something like that. Mm, creeper. Creeper. Creepers. Uh, creepers. Yes. You could destroy the terrain. We appreciate that. Yeah, I guess you could mine on this side of so some uh, stone until we could have a sufficient enough stone so that we could get some walls built up. Then we could breed some animals perhaps. That's going to be a bit of a difficult task since we are short of wheat because the wheat farm's been... Has not been doing so well, I do see. If I do say so myself. I also remember from the part 1 video, once we increased the render distance for a bit and had you guys endure the dropped frame rates torture, we saw a temple and also a village nearby, a desert village specifically. So it's gonna be best for us if we go there and pick up some plants from there 
So we could have a. There's a I'm worried there's a zombie here. Let me, let me check the surrounding area. If you don't mind. No. No? Good, good, good. I think he's in a cave. I'm I'm sure of this. He's most likely in a cave, so after I finish with mining those stones and getting some charcoal in the process, we'll build some walls and we'll go and visit our village. Good. Uh, I th I thought that I could uh, I would have had enough hunger for a to build some walls, but it turns out that's not the case. Even though I've eaten some rotten flesh, that wouldn't suffice for us. Okay. So we should protect those villagers at any cost anyhow. Got ourselves an iron shovel and a bunch of iron. Very much appreciated from you guys. Just uh, we, we would devise a strategy so that we could protect those animal those villagers at any cost because they prove to be useful later on. Let me just uh, I'll keep you in. I'm gonna keep you locked down so that. Oh, they have an iron, an iron golem. Good on them. Good on them. Well, I'll take their one of their beds for my leisure because we do need some beds for to sleep in the first place. At least we've gotten ourselves some decent loot from them. An iron, some iron and an iron shovel. Iron shovel is going to be useful for creating this versions of the Skywalker. Hmm. Last furnace, can I keep it with you? You know, I really thought we would have been able to get some foods that would have had some farms over here but whilst oh that was something well we'll just go back to our base and go and actually start with the walls then i guess we unfortunately have to you know what there's a lovely rabbit. Oh, some of them have been killed. We from whom exactly? Very weird. It's very weird indeed. Hey, our wheat farm's finally showing some results. Very nice. We're gonna be able to start our farm soon enough. That's gonna be great to know. So I'm still trying to finish with the walls. I do have a bit of an issue down here with the f farm getting into the way of things. But other than that, it should be smooth sailing from here. So I'm just going to have to use some dirt to like use them for the walls basically and then after that you could potentially get some animals here for our farm to have a good start here because we're having a bit of an issue with our hunger here. We're dealing with some big stuff, but with our buck, with our three iron here, we could very easily just create a water bucket and resolve that issue with much faster uh, plants coming out. Like I don't know what I'm talking about anymore, but basically the farms are gonna have a bit more use now after we 
get the water bucket just uh, there we go our bed is also here that's why we don't now we don't have to wait for 10 minutes to do stuff anymore we could just do things instantly so we'll get some stone get the water get some water with the water bucket from the waterfall nearby and then we're gonna bring some plants over to the enclosed area so we finished with our walls over here and we do have a good amount of space to work with just uh, yes here yeah. we just need to get some food ready thankfully with the random disappearance of rabbits we've gotten some rabbit meat from them which would suffice for us for now we also got ourselves some water here for the wheat farm over here so that we could get some more food sooner or later we're gonna use the wheat that we have now to get either a sheep or a cow preferably a cow so that we could potentially start making some cake which is a very useful food source so just uh, let's go to bed for now and harvest our wheat and get the sheep and somehow really it's it's if we're gonna be able to get two wheats exactly we're set and no haven't gotten two weights still a wheat either way so let's just um, get that weight over here let's see oh no oh, no no leave me really leave 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 enjoy Come on, I guess I can't trust spiders at daylight of all times now, too. So where's... Oh no, creepers. And now if we could take both of you for now. Let's uh, get you guys in a safe and enclosed area. Where you could eat, freely move around. If you don't destroy any of my crops, you'll be safe here. Just one more of them. One more of them pairs would be perfect. Good, now we've gotten the cows and sheep that we've desperately wanted for a while now. Let's put our rabbit hide here. Not sure what use does it have other than for my knowledge just getting a leather. Just a piece of leather. Very underwhelming, underwhelming to say the least, but at least it has a use. So I guess we could just uh, get some dirt to make this land more flat and easier to transverse, transverse and we'll see what we can do after that. Ah yes, uh, Minecraft OST. It's, it's so beautiful, it sounds so nice. Straight out of Ostrich, I'm not sure how to spell it right very beautiful indeed we're just gonna be uh, yeah there's not much we can do really other than so that i could try to not get this video a bit longer than it needs to be and so i don't get lost from who knows where i'll be lost so after we'll be placing the dirt back to the places where dirt's missing for some reason we're just gonna go and light the area a bit more we need the safety of, of course i mean it's mostly just for insurance's sake because yeah we want to be safe that's that's basically what it comes down to at the end of the day being safe well, it doesn't, it won't take much really. Just, just some torches here. Yeah. Would be nice. 
even though it's gonna look a bit a bit messy messy it's gonna be all for a good cause really at the end of the day being safe over at our beautiful house here other than this thing which is just there for decoration you know what don't think we need this anymore we'll keep it as it is a house with an entrance with an aside yeah good this looks really nice if i do have to say if i do say so myself so after we'll be lighting the surrounding area but more will be ending our part here so thank you all guys for watching today and we'll see you in the next video or on the discord server and goodbye everybody